In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the color management features of MentorCore. Let's take a look at the render for this scene. You can see it looks very dark and contrasted, and this is usually a sign of not using a linear workflow. To fix this, we need to enable color management. Under the General tab of MentorCore, enable color management. You can see our render now looks much more realistic and natural compared to the previous render. Color management options allow you to specify input profile, output profile, and preview profile. The input profile is applied to color textures during rendering. It will convert from the selected profile to linear. The output profile is applied to the final image when the output mode is set to all passes. And the preview profile is applied to the render view. The current available color profiles are linear, sRGB, and Rec 709. We can find more color management options under individual shaders. If you scroll to the bottom, under the options section, color management. This allows you to toggle on and off color management for certain color inputs. This is useful if you are using a linear texture such as the HDR or EXR. And finally, in the hypershade, under Mentoro texture shaders, you can see a core color profile shader. This allows you to apply color profiles in your shader network. You can choose between default input profile, which is what's specified in the render globals, linear, sRGB, or X709. Using these color management options will help you adopt a linear workflow and get much more realistic renders.